Hello, my name is Peter Amstutz and I'm a developer on the Arvados Open Source Project. Today, I'm going to give a technical overview of some of the features and components of the Arvados platform. This presentation covers Arvados features up to the 2.1 release. First, I want to say a little bit about the company behind Arvados, Curie. Curie is an open source software company serving the life sciences. Our customers include pharma, small biotechs, and academic labs. Curie offers support and development services for the Arvados platform, as well as engaging in research and development on machine learning for genomics and around bio open biomedical data and standards. What is Arvados? Arvados is an open source platform for managing, processing, and sharing genomic and other large scientific and bio biomedical data. We'll talk about what this means in terms of specific features and capabilities in a minute, but first let me tell you about some of our high-level goals. We wanted to build a platform that could be deployed in a variety of environments, such as various cloud providers and on-premise HPC clusters. We also wanted to make it possible to access and use data located on multiple clusters that may be running in different locations, environments, or organizations. Another high-level goal is to work at the scale of modern biomedical research. Instruments such as sequencers and microscopes can produce hundreds of gigabytes of data in a single run and produce hundreds of terabytes of data annually, so Arvados needs to work at petabyte scale and manage thousands of cores to process all that data. Finally, we want a complete record of everything done on the system so we can determine what was done confirm or reproduce results, track the origin of data, and be able to verify that a data set has not been modified or have a, and have a history of changes when it has been modified. The key capabilities that Arvados, that Arvados gives you are the ability to manage storage and compute at scale and the ability to integrate those capabilities into your existing infrastructure and application using Arvados APIs. The main unit of data management is an Arvados collection, which is a self-contained set of files and directories. A collection can be identified by a name assigned by the user, by a universally unique database identifier, or by a portable data hash, also called a content address. The portable data hash is an immutable identifier computed based on the content and structure of the files making up the collection. And if any of those files change, you get a different portable data hash. Because the portable data hash is based on the content of the collection, you can verify that the actual data has the expected hash, as well as easily determine if a copy of the collection is the same as the original. Access to collections is controlled, and collections can be shared with users and groups at different levels of read-only or write access. Once data is loaded into the system, you probably want to analyze it. Arvados provides a complete workflow engine that is closely integrated with the storage system to ensure efficient data movement, as well as handling the scheduling of compute jobs across multiple nodes and keeps a record of everything that has been done so it is easy to repeat previous computations. Finally, Arvados provides a complete API, making it possible to integrate with existing systems as well as build new applications on top of Arvados. The Arvados storage system is called Keep. As I mentioned, it organizes sets of files into a collection. A collection can have additional user metadata associated with it in the form of searchable key value properties and records the history of changes made to that collection. To store data in a collection, the files are broken up into a set of blocks up to 64 megabytes in size, which are hashed to get an identifier, which is used to store and retrieve the data block. The identifier can be used to validate the content of the block also provides for deduplication as the same data block can be referenced by multiple collections. This means 
that it is cheap to copy and modify collections as only the block identifiers need to be copied and not the actual data. For the back end, the actual data blocks can be stored on a conventional file system in S3 buckets or in Azure blob storage using the block hash as the file name. On the front end, Keep, provi Keep provides a variety of access options. You can use the Arvados SDK, which uses the, block level, uses the block level API and reassembles files on the client side, but you can also use higher level access methods, including a file system in user space or fuse mount, which lets you access Keep more or less like a regular POSIX file system, or over HTTP using WebDAV or using an AWS S3 compatible API, where an Arvadas collection acts like a bucket and enables applications that already support object storage to access files in Arvados. The Arvados compute layer is called Crunch. Requests to run a compute job are submitted through the Arvados API. This includes the command line to run, the container image to use, required hardware resources, and what input files are required by the job. Crunch handles translating that job request into an HPC batch submission or on the cloud by using the cloud provider's APIs to request a new compute instance on demand, running the job, and then shutting down the compute instance when it's no longer needed. Crunch keeps a record of every job that has been submitted and all of the inputs outputs and container images are keep collections organized, identified by portable data hashes. The same portable data hash means you have the same file structure and content. If a job which is identical to a previous job is submitted, meaning it was submitted with an identical container image, input files, and command line, Arvados will recognize that it is identical to a previous job, and instead of redundant re redundantly rerunning the job, it will simply reuse the result from the past run. This is especially useful if you need to stop and restart a workflow, as it will quickly move through all the reused steps that have previously been executed. Crunch also collects complete logs, information about the compute node, and extensive metrics about the job such as moment-to-moment -moment CPU usage, RAM usage, I.O., and so forth, enabling you to easily diagnose common problems such as out-of-memory conditions or optimize cost by determining the most compact and least expensive node size that fits a job. The native workflow language of Arvados is common workflow language. CWL is an open standard for describing computational data analysis workflows, which is supported by a number of different vendors and software platforms. The Arvados project has been involved in the development of CWL since its inception and offers robust CWL support. If you would like to know, learn more, go to commonwl.org. Day-to-day -day use of Arvados typically involves using the Arvados Workbench web application. Workbench lets you search and browse collections, start and monitor the progress of workflows, create projects, upload data, share data with other users, and a variety of other features. There's also a suite of command line tools that are capable of doing everything that can be done through the web UI. Arvados offers software development kits for several different languages, currently Python, Go, R, Ruby, and Java. The SDKs make it easy to access the underlying REST APIs, as well as direct access to data stored in Keep. In addition, software can access files in Keep through WebDAB and S3 compatible APIs offered by Arvados. Arvados takes security and access control very seriously. Access to API endpoints requires a client 
to present an access token that identifies the user. All traffic is encrypted by default using TLS, and Arvados can be easily configured for data to be encrypted at rest. Arvados supports various single sign-on systems, including LDAP, OpenID Connect, and Google accounts. Data upload to Arvados is private by default, but can be shared with other users or groups at different access levels. A major feature of Arvados is federation. Arvados clusters are able to communicate with other clusters in a federation in order to enable the user to log in with a consistent identity and credentials and search and access data across multiple clusters in different regions or organizations. Federation enables you to use Arvados to create a data commons in which data can be both shared widely among users in an organization or between organizations while still having controlled audited access. In April 2020, a week-long online biohackathon was organized to see how bioinformatics could help in the fight against SARS-CoV-2. One of the projects to emerge from this was the public sequence resource PubSeq, located at covid19.genenetwork.org. The vision of this resource was to provide viral sequence data in a place where Unlike other repositories that supply data but no compute capability, scientists could easily run their own custom batch analysis. Using Arvados, we were able to go from concept to working prototype in five days. Today, this resource has over 30,000 viral sequences available, along with metadata and a number of workflows for processing the data. To sum up, Arvados is a complete software platform for managing data and compute on that data without compromising on scale, security, or control. Curie has set up a demo instance at playground.arvados.org where you can get a feel for what it is like to use Arvados as a regular user. Follow the documentation link on the arvados.org front page to get to the Arvados documentation which includes our user guide, and if you think you would like to set up Arvados for yourself, our installation guide. Arvados is open source and we welcome and encourage community users. Follow the community link on arvados.org to get information about the Arvados discussion forum, chat, video calls, and other community events. Finally, if you're interested in professional support and development services, please contact us at info at curie.com for more information. And with that, thank you for your time.